Hey developers, so welcome back to another CSS illustration tutorial. In this one, we'll be creating uh, this right here, an Android illustration. So let's jump right into the HTML first. So here I've got a basic HTML template and I've got a styles of CSS attached that we will look at later. So for now, let's first start off by creating a div with a class of Android. This will be our main wrapper for the Android. And so now let's, so based on this image, there's going to be a couple of elements that we're going to need. So we have an antenna here. Now along we have eyes here, a face, the body, two arms and two legs. So let's first deal with the two um, antennas. We can do uh, another div. So we do Android of antenna. Oops, sorry, antenna. And we also do Android antenna dash dash left so in this I'm going to be using the BEM uh, which stands for the block element modifier for the CSS uh, as a design pattern I guess so if you don't know what that is let me know in the comments if you want to know what it is um, I might make a video on it it's very helpful to keep your CSS I guess clean and easy to read and very consistent so we have the two antennas right here uh, we'll just make this one the right one. And so left and a right, left, right. And now we also have the Android's uh, face right here. So we'll do an Android underscore face with that double underscore. And inside that, we're going to have another div to deal with the, the eyes of the Android. So we've got the Android uh, eyes. So now we're gonna need a, we're gonna need a div for the body. So this body right here, and we can just do another div with Android double underscore body. And now we need the arms and the two legs. So we're gonna put the arms and the legs with the body, because later we're gonna push uh, each of these outside of the body a little bit to the left, to the right, and to the bottom. So we'll do an Android. Double underscore arm, and this one is going to be the left one. And we just copy this down and change this to be the right one. So now I'm going to do the same thing for the leg as well. So the Android underscore leg, oops, leg, and leg dash dash left. Copy that down again, and we have a right. Uh, so closing this down now, we can see the overall layout that we're going to have for the HTML. So we have the Android, we have the two antennas, the face, the eyes, uh, we have the body, and inside the body we have two arms and two legs. So with the HTML all sorted out now, we can move on to doing the main part, which is the CSS. So let's I want to open up a new browser on the right so we can see what's happening in real time when we make changes. So going to the styles of CSS file now, I already have some base code here with some variables, uh, which are my code archive color, the Android primary color, which is the green color that the Android is, and the eyes will be a white color. So the important thing you need to know here for the base is that so these two here, I'm setting a position of absolute for all elements and all pseudo elements of before and after with a box sizing of border box. And for the pseudo elements specifically, I'm setting a content to an empty string and a z index of 1. So, with that out of the way, let's move on to first doing the initial Android wrapper. So, this will just be a uh, square in the middle just so we can hold the Android in. So, I'm just going to copy this in because this is not the important part that we need to know about. So I'll just copy this in here. And I'll also set a background of blue to see, to see what we're doing here. So you can see a square here. So the Android will be inside here. So let's first start off with the Android's face. So we do a dot Android a double underscore face. So this will be a semicircle essentially like this with the green and two eyes in between. 
So we'll do a width of 100 pixels. Uh, let's do a height of 50 pixels and a background color so we can see what's going on. So we can do the Android primary color right here. So let's first make this into a semicircle right here. So I found this online, so I'm not actually sure what the math behind doing this is. But if you're curious, you can look that up. And I'd be glad if you can let me know what it is as well, because I'm a bit curious as well. So that makes it into a semicircle right here. We're targeting the top left, top right border, uh, border radius. And we're setting it to 100% and 200% here. So we need to position this in uh, in location where we want to. So I'll do the top of 10%, uh, left of 50%. And a transform will translate the X minus 50% right here. So that will make it into the position that we want it to be in. So let's move on to doing the eyes now. And the eyes will essentially be a wrapper in the middle and a before and after elements uh, to, to position it properly there. So for the wrapper, I'll just, I'm going to copy this one in and give a background color to show you where the eyes will be. So we'll give this one a, let's just do red for now. So the eyes will be on the left and the right here of this wrapper. So if we do the dot android double underscore eyes and a before element. So this is the eye will be essentially be a circle. So we can do a width of 10 pixels, a height of 10 pixels. Let's also do a background, which will be um, the color that we set in the variable. So a var of the Android eyes color, which is the white. And finally, we just need a border radius of 50%. So that will be one eye right here with the before. And we'll just do another one or we'll copy this one in, which is the same thing. And for the after, we're just gonna set the, the positioning of to make it on the right. So we, we can do a right zero and that will position that one to be on the right right here. So moving up the background now, that's all we need to do for this. And for the antenna, so we can also have, so we have a left and a right, right here, the uh, two divs that we're going to target. So we're going to do some basic styles for both of them to make the initial antenna of the, the rectangle shape. So we're going to do Android double underscore antenna. And let's just do a width of 55 pixels, 55 pixels, a height of 5 pixels. And let's give it a background color of the Android primary color. And we'll do a top of 10% right here. So now for the left and right, we're going to position them differently and rotate them differently as well. So the, to show you what this means, we're going to do Android antenna for the left one. We're first going to, let's just change, make this one a left of 40%. And to transform this properly, we're going to do transform or translate X. So translate X or minus 50%. Move it back here. And now we need to rotate this uh, to make it in the proper position for the antenna. So we can do a rotate of let's say 45 degrees uh, maybe 55 I think looks better probably so 55 we'll stick with that and now we also need to make this border radius in the top left and top right a little bit better so if we do the border that top left radius of 10 pixels and we can do the same thing for the bottom left actually because it's a bit rotated so it's a bit different so that's the left one done and we can copy this and do the same thing for the right one just with different uh, I guess inverted values so we can do I'll we'll make this one a six left for 60 pixels click over here and we can rotate it from with minus 55 degrees to go the other way 
and the border radius will have to be uh, not the left but the right for this one. So that takes that takes care of doing the antennas now. So to keep this video short, I'm gonna separate this into two parts, a two part video. Uh, so the next video we're gonna do the next three elements, which is the body, arms, and the legs. So stay tuned for that. This will be all for this video. Uh, if you have any comments, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next part.